All right, I've got something very spooky that I want to talk about. So everybody knows that I love hacking Wi-Fi. It's one of my favorite things to do. So any any sort of like Wi-Fi related hack is always very interesting to me. And it appears as though a router related Wi-Fi hack has come out that is relatively severe and also very mysterious. So Netgear has announced a fix for a high severity vulnerability uh, that impacts lots of their different routers. Uh, it impacts multiple wireless AC Nighthawk, wireless AX Nighthawk, Wi-Fi 6, and wireless AC router models. And the, they're not really talking about the specifics here, which makes it seem as though this is like a low complexity attack that virtually anyone can do and they don't want people to, I don't know, like use a flipper to attack it or something. They didn't really explain much other than that it's a pre-authentication buffer overflow for, for Wi-Fi, as, as far as I know, for this router would mean that you can basically crash the router or potentially even execute arbitrary code just by interacting with the router before you are authenticated, meaning no pass password, just proximity. With the right Wi-Fi antenna, mm -hmm. I have seen range of up to like two, three miles and relatively good throughput. So the ability to crash almost any Netgear router within that range without having to authenticate or know anything about that router is pretty serious, especially if it could lead to some sort of exploit chain that allows you to use that crash to actually exploit code. So um, if you can exploit it to run code and get it to do something that it's not supposed to do, then obviously uh, that's really bad. But even just the ability to crash any router nearby and do a denial of service attack, uh, no matter what their upgrades are, you know, you could be immune now to deauthentication attacks. But if somebody can just crash your router over and over and over again, it doesn't really matter. So um, yeah, it uh, seems like this is pretty serious too because there was a statement by Netgear that I've literally never heard from a firmware manufacturer or from a manufacturer before. Netgear is not responsible for any consequences that could have been avoided by following the recommendations <laughs> in this notification. That is the strongest wording I have ever heard. Um, at least from, from Netgear on like a, a wireless issue. So, wow, yes. Um, if you have a Netgear device, I strongly recommend you read this very easy seven step process uh, to make sure that you properly mm -hmm. install this because they warn that it's, it's kind of easy to not finish all the steps here and still be vulnerable to this attack. Um, Based on the number of people I've seen with their routers that still have the default credentials, something tells me that not many routers and homes and small businesses are actually going to get updated. Yeah, I which is the, very concerning. I get the feeling that once the proof of concept for this comes out, there's going to be a lot of routers that just get infinitely rebooted um, mm -hmm. as people just have fun with this attack. Because it seems like a low complexity, high impact attack that only requires proximity. And that's a really bad yeah. thing when you're attacking like a, a very important device, like a router that people rely on to get data.